Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'm going to be showing you just how to easily regenerate your thumbnails in WordPress. Uh, if you're curious as to what that means is, WordPress generates thumbnails for your website based on plugins that declare them, as well as some default image sizes in WordPress core. And your theme can also declare these, and normally you have a long list of, <laughs> if you have a very large theme, you may have 20 plus thumbnail sizes that are automatically generated. If you recently swapped from one theme to another, you're going to want to run this process fully. That way you aren't missing out on any image sizes. The advantage to having multiple image sizes generated is that the theme will use them in, or the plugin in spaces that the image was designed to fit in. So instead of using, let's say a 3000 by 3000 image that you upload, the theme may declare a 300 by 300 image size that it needs to show your little post thumbnails for. And because it does that, it's automatically optimizing the speed of your website by resizing the images for you. Most decently coded themes do this right out of the box. Um, you may struggle with some page builders with this, but more or less, all themes, Avada, The7, Genesis, etc., they all declare the image size that they need and serve them in the appropriate spots. So to do this, you just need a free plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails. Now, when you run this, you have a couple of interesting options, and I'm going to modify my settings to show you what I mean. Uh, I'm going to first um, change one of the image sizes, so the medium by the medium 300 by 300. I want to change this to 500, so that way I could show you how this process works. Now, when you set it to 500 by 500, first of all, I'll update on here. I now need to regenerate the thumbnail for my attached images because there's now a new image size that has to be regenerated. Even though it was 300 by 300 before, I now need to regenerate it because it's now supposed to be 500 by 500 and any new references to the medium image will now be 500 by 500. So to fix this, you just install the plugin and you could choose to run it for all attachments or for featured images only. I personally recommend that you do it for all attachments if you're going from an entirely new theme. The primary reason I recommend doing that is if you're going to a new theme, even if the image wasn't attached as a featured image, it may have been used elsewhere. Sometimes images in gallery plugins may not be added as featured images, but they still need to be resized if the theme also supports a similar gallery such as next gen galleries. So to go ahead and do this, I'm just going to re regenerate for all attachments. You can also choose to delete thumbnails for old unregistered sizes. I recommend if you're going to go this route, you should back up your website fully using something like Updraft Plus. And the primary reason for that is it will delete old image sizes. So let's say I had an image size declared as lar um, extra large. I'm making this one up and I had it as um, let's say like 1500 by 1500. That image size is no longer exist. Now, while the image size may no longer be used, say I added it to a post, let's say I added an image in a post somewhere that was the 1500 by 1500 variation of the image. What will now happen is, is that image will 404. Most of you shouldn't have anything to worry about because most people, when they add an image to their site and add it as a media, whether that's by the classic editor or Gutenberg, they just choose the full size image. Um, while that's terrible for performance, almost everybody is guilty of it. So all you have to do is make sure you back it up beforehand. And once the deletion process is run and the process is fully complete, just recheck your posts and your pages. Make sure you don't have any 404s. If you do, you can choose to either roll back your, up, your backup so that way the images are restored or you could just just change the images if there are only a couple that need to be updated. So we're gonna go ahead and run it and we're gonna regenerate all attachments. And what it'll do is it'll go through each image individually, regenerate the thumbnails, delete the old thumbnails that no longer exist and spit them out um, onto the server to handle. Now, if you previously compressed your attachment images, you're going to have to recompress them. Most plugins like U Image Optimizer should make this process fairly simple and automatic. Um, but for those of the odd or the more odd uh, image compression plugins, they very well might not, and you may need to run a bulk optimization afterwards. Um, pretty much everything but the original full size image will need to be recompressed, but we should be golden 
here. And after this is completed, it'll say, congrats, it is 100% done, or something like that. And it was done in 50 seconds. Uh, very simple, quick, painless process. This is a great plugin to do it. There are alternatives, and I'll cover them in a later video, but this is the one I've always used by Viper Raban 007. And it's just a great plugin. And he was a great developer as well. If you guys have any questions, you can please feel free to ask in the comments below. I will try to help you out. Remember to back up your site beforehand, and otherwise make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.